All right, too good to be true today. What we got, uh, I had somebody come into the office a few minutes ago, and no names, of course, uh, it doesn't matter, but uh, it was a technician out in the field, and he was asking about putting in a new motor and a relay. And we talked a few things and reminded him about a couple uh, simple basics on a relay, and then I come over here to this Goodman unit and was going to look at <clears throat> getting it ready for a class or whatnot. And the board's bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I was hoping to do a video on uh, replacing circuit boards with a relay. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and since everything is kind of uh, in favor of that today, we're going to talk about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this Goodman fan board. Real simple circuit board. And hopefully we'll play on some principles that uh, you should already know about it with uh, relays. Okay. This circuit board, the only thing that differs it from uh, from a good old 9340 relay is it's able to keep track of time. Relays are more instant, on and off. This circuit board, I can program it, and you know, for this particular one, it takes seven seconds once it gets 24 volts, and uh, in order for it to come on, so it's got a seven-second delay coming on, and then it's got like a 65-second delay turning off. So you blow out the rest of the heat from the heat, uh, the heat pump running or the heat strips running, or blow out the rest of the, the cold air into the ductwork from uh, the cooling being on because that evaporator is already cold. Um, you know, why waste it? So real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do a, in this particular case, if you understand what you're dealing with on this circuit board, you can assimilate it to the relay and its functions and I wouldn't do this in anybody's house. I am uh, very much a, uh, a proactive person when it comes to replacing the manufacturer's parts. Okay, you don't have to go Frankenstein a unit, but if this was my house on Christmas Eve, midnight, you know, one of them situations. So, uh, but real quick, let's uh, we're going to look at taking this board out. Uh, a lot of guys out in the field, they take and they when they replace circuit boards, they'll have the old one left in there and they'll take the new one and they'll just go wire for wire. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different, but uh, hopefully if you've ever seen one of these boards and you know about this relay, this ain't gonna take but a minute, but I'm gonna take that circuit board out and we're gonna remove all the wires and we're gonna wire it up on this relay. The only wire that I'm not gonna use is going to be these two wires right here that are the extra speed wires. This Goodman has a three-speed PSC motor, and we only run one speed at a time. So what do you do with the other two speeds? Well, on the circuit board, they give you two dummy terminals um, that you can park those extra wires on. Uh, but on the relay, we don't necessarily have that. Uh, I could do it, but I'm not gonna make a fuss. Some people will get confused about it, but uh, we're just gonna leave those two extra speeds off, but every other wire and the fuse we're gonna use. So uh, let me walk you through that real quick and uh, we'll get that to uh, get it done. Oh. And somebody's already been here because that was way too easy. Usually you take your uh, needle nose pliers or what and you can pinch that little uh, depression down and pull that board off and replace it there, okay? So, so here we go, we got our high speed is black, our medium speed is blue, and our low speed is red. We're gonna put them off to the side. I've got a purple wire coming from the heat strip circuit. That's gonna be used on our normally closed switch on the relay. I've got red straight off the transformer. That's gonna be 208 volts, 240 volts. So, uh, but that's high voltage. It's gonna be on the normally open switch, okay? We have a few, so you can see where somebody's already looked at this board, we'll say. So I've got a three amp fuse there. I've got my green wire. We know that green is for the indoor fan relay coil. I've got two blues, that's a common. So we're gonna take those uh, low voltage commons off. And then I've got two red wires, which are 24 volts power from the transformer. So the theory is, you know, with that fuse there, we have 24 volts coming in. It goes through the fuse and then back out into the system. So that fuse is there to protect the transformer, even though the transformer doesn't have anything on it itself. So let me put this off to the side. So real quick, you can take and look at your low voltage side 
and find your field wiring for your red, okay? These were the two red wires I just pulled off. A lot of guys that I know in the field, they'll take that fuse, and this is a, uh, you know, we'll call it a poor man's fuse holder, but I can, I can have a fuse just like that. The only thing you need to do is maybe secure it a little bit. Um, we can wrap some electrical tape right there. You don't want anything coming loose and you don't want it to touch anything. Um, kind of neaten it up a little bit. All right, so uh, low voltage. I've got my two red wires and uh, we can go from there, all right? So we'll finish with the low voltage. I'm gonna tuck this guy out the way. The green wire. Well, if you remember from this 9340 relay, these bottom sets of terminals, uh, two on the bottom and two on the left and the right, that is our 24 volt coil. So I'm gonna put the green there and I'm also going to put the 24 volt common wire, right? My 24 volt common goes on the other side and you can use both of those blue ones that was on the common terminal, okay? So there we go. Now, what do we do with the actual high voltage part of the relay? Well, power goes in on terminal three. So I'm gonna take this high voltage 240 volt red wire right here and I'm gonna put it on terminal three. So 240 is gonna sit there and when I get 24 volts on the green to common, then it's gonna pass out one and we need to put our speed on terminal one. So I'm just gonna choose medium to be in the middle. I'm gonna choose the medium speed here. And uh, if I were to turn it on right now, as long as this relay that I got is good, is 24 volts energized the coil, three to one will close. 240 volts you know, on the circuit and the fan's gonna come on. Uh, but we also have a purple wire that goes on the normally closed side of that switch, right? Two to one is normally closed. So this purple wire off of your fan board would go on there. And then you can mount that inside the, um, you can mount that inside your air handler. I'm gonna leave it right there using one of the uh, the little standoffs uh, to hold it out of the way. This is not a permanent thing. Like I said, I, I recommend replacing OEM parts, but if I had to get a customer up and going with this particular board, I would not hesitate to do that. We're not cutting any wires. We're not hacking up a wire and harness. The only thing that you have to do is take these two leftover speeds and secure them out the way, okay? And for right now, I'm not gonna zip tie anything. I'm just gonna show you that uh, this works. So let me plug it in. All right, we should have, should have our power here. Let me turn the breaker back on. Oh, I got the fan on at the thermostat. Fan's on right now. Turn the fan off, fan cuts off. This relay and this Goodman circuit board are so much alike, it's not even funny. Like I said, what they really give you is a place to put two extra speed terminals that are not being used and a place to put a fuse. So that's it. And uh, of course you can uh, always put it back the way it was. So hopefully that might teach you something. Uh, if you're new to the field, hey, watch this stuff. Check out a lot of the guys on the other channels or whatnot. But uh, there's some good information. You just have to take the time to go and get it and truly try to understand it. So uh, that's it for now. I'm going to put everything back, but you don't need to, you don't need to watch for that. So uh, if you like it, let me know. Comment. I get a few people comment. I don't mind helping uh, when I can. So, uh, you know, the, the, whole, the whole like, comment, and subscribe thing, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's what everybody says. So uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. One thing I would tell you is to try to be professional with what you're doing. This is what a lot of guys in the field do. Uh, I've seen it plenty of times. Like I said, personally, I don't think it's nothing wrong. It, you can take it up a notch as far as professionalism. And you can go on Amazon and buy you a fuse holder. I bought some for uh, my boat projects and stuff. I think 10 of them for like $10. But, uh, you know, it comes all, uh, it comes in a loop and you cut it to you know whatever length you need. I just usually cut them in half so I have the equal sides. And uh, you can use a, put the fuse in here, 
and when you go to put it in the system you can use a butt connector and dress it up and use some heat shrink tubing over that so um, just another way to uh, do this but make it look a little bit better